we're going to talk about accuracy and how you get accuracy. Well, we've got a misconception by folks here. It's part of an advertising gimmick. It's part of the problem. People seem to think because they buy premium, select, match, or whatever designation for the ammunition, that it's something that's special. It could be. It could not be. It all depends. Now, the rifles that I build, I use high quality, match quality barrels that are properly dimensioned. This is where it starts with a high quality rifle barrel that's precisionly made, that's uniform, that it's on size, not oversized, not oversized like we get from the factories. If the factories can make the barrels oversized, they can make them on size. Too bad that they don't. But anyway, I've tried some of this select premium type ammunition and rifles. I've had results that are just absolutely all over the place. Only in a very, very rare instance do I find anything that's accurate in even the most precision built rifle. It happens, but it's not a common thing. Somebody buys a rifle, and because it's got a matched barrel, they think automatically it's going to shoot, you know, half inch or better groups. There's no free lunch out here, folks. The only way that you're going to get half inch or better groups, and I know because I've been doing it for 60 some years, hand loading for precision, for thousands and thousands of rifles, you have to work up a load for the rifle that you have. Just because you bought it from me or anybody else and it's got a Hart barrel, a Krieger barrel, a, a Bartling barrel, or whatever barrel that there might, might happen to be, and it's a match quality barrel, you can expect to get half inch accuracy by going to a reloading manual and picking a powder charge with a given bullet and a case and a primer and sticking that ammunition together and expect it to shoot. Well, I did it precisionly. I weighed my charges. I even weighed my cases and I weighed my bullets and so forth. And, you know, I deburred my, my flash holes and my cases and all this other stuff and I don't understand why it doesn't shoot. Well it doesn't shoot because it's not a ballistic match to what the rifle digests. It's got to be a uniform situation. You can't just whip up a powder charge, stick it in the case and shoot. You need to chronograph every round that you fire. And you need to use a micrometer to measure cases for any pressure aspect. You can go to my other videos on that aspect. But you have to work up a powder charge individually for every rifle with different bullets, with different primers, maybe even a couple of different case brands to wring the absolute accuracy out of the rifle. And you have to have close velocity spreads if you've got velocity spreads that are in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s and higher, you'll, you, you can't get accuracy. You might see an occasional accurate group at 100 yards, but it sure as hell is going to shoot at three or 300 or 600 yards because there's no uniformity. It's about uniformity. Every aspect has to be uniform. The rifle has got to be built properly by an experienced individual such as myself, not somebody that just decides 
that, oh, he can build rifles, you know. All of a sudden, you know, one day he's got the idea to build rifles, and next week now he's an expert. Well, yeah, we got a few of these guys out here, but I know better. And it doesn't work that way. Every aspect that there is, bench resting techniques, go to my video on bench rest technique. There's not a more accurate way to wring the accuracy out of your rifle than my bench resting technique applied and used for a little while. You quick figure out that, gosh, my rifle shoots twice as good or, or maybe better than it ever did. But it's all about uniformity. Every bit of uniformity. And if you don't apply these things, you're only, get, you're only going to get the performance that you're capable of loading for that rifle. Somebody blames the rifle. Well, the first area that needs to be blamed is your experience. Do you have the experience? Do you not have the experience? Go to somebody such as myself that actually knows. You know, we've got situations out here in this day and age where there are a few rifles that are produced that are stuck together in such a way that they're quite close to precision as precision can get from a pr production standpoint and, and, and shoot exceptionally well, you know. <coughs> maybe a Savage rifle, maybe a Tika rifle, maybe some other brand of rifle that's just a little bit higher priced than, a, than the, the normal rifle. There's been some details that have been attended to. Ways to injection mold stocks to match a barrel action that is entirely adequate for some very, very good shooting, and I'm, I'm always talking about half inch and probably better, you see. You can get it with some of these, some of these firearms because the way that they're manufactured. But you're not going to get it off, out, off of a Winchester. You're not going to get it off of a Remington and many other rifles out here. You know, you pay a lot of money, for instance, for for any Weatherby rifle, well, you know, there are aspects to do with manufacturers that guarantee this type of accuracy or that type of accuracy with a particular load, with a particular load, not just any old thing that you can stick in it and shoot it. It's not going to perform that way. So you need to understand these aspects to do with precision. 